Hillary Clinton, as you know, has refused to take a stand in support of Standing Rock. Her message, a rather garbled and ambiguous one, as Bill McKibben uh, stated, managed to say absolutely nothing. But she said much more than nothing when a large um, delegation from Standing Rock came to her office where they were essentially refused entry. And a young girl, a 14-year-old uh, member of the indigenous community, had her written letter uh, pleading for the future of her community and Mother Earth. And the Clinton campaign refused to even accept that letter. Yeah. Okay. This letter needs to go to Hillary Clinton. We need to be heard. We humbly ask you to take this letter from us. Please take the letter. Take the letter. Take the letter. Take the letter. Our family has all been needs you. There's no doubt about where the Clinton campaign stands on pipelines, on fracking, on the fossil fuel disaster uh, that they are uh, very bought into. The courageous leaders at Standing Rock are standing up not just for their water supply, but for the water that feeds some 14 million people downstream on the Missouri River. They are there to stand up for the climate, not just for themselves, but for all of us. We all now share this very precarious climate that's at a tipping point. They are standing up for human rights, not only to defend their ancestral lands, their burial grounds, uh, and their right uh, to informed consent over any uh, interventions on that land, but they're standing up for the human rights of us all. I stand with Standing Rock with such enormous appreciation for their courage and their bravery for standing up for the things that we all depend on. And I think it's so important that all of us support them in whatever way we can, whether it's by going there to support their encampment or by sending uh, contributions to um, help support uh, that community. Hillary Clinton asks you to stand with her. I'm saying I stand with you. I stand with Standing Rock. Thank you for continuing to lead the way for us all.